Hi everyone, it's Nicole here today for Simon Says Stamp with a set of inlay grid frame cards that feature some stamped and embossed images from the One Cool Pineapple Stamp Set part of the July 2018 Simon Says Stamp card kit. This stamp set is also available individually and I've paired it with a frame die that came out several months ago. So mixing and matching old and new products, one of my very, very most favorite things to do with card making or creating of any kind. So I have taken this grid die and I have die cut it from not only the color of cardstock that I want to use for the frame, but then I've die cut it from some complementary colors of cardstock that are going to match what I'm going to color those inside images. So for the pineapple card, a couple of shades of yellow, um, in fact, three different shades of yellow. They're kind, a couple of them are kind of close in color. I did that on purpose. And then the frame is going to be green, very much mimicking the green and yellow of my pineapple is what I was going for. Now, what I like to do is cover the front of my card, not quite to the edge because the frame is slightly smaller than A2 sized. In fact, I would imagine it's probably about four by five and a quarter. Um, so I kept my adhesive inside that. I find this is the easiest way to do an inlay and it's not a total inlay. I did pop up the frame a little bit by taking a white die cut frame, which I did die cut the frame from Bristol Smooth cardstock. That way I could perfectly inlay that rectangle that's gonna go in the center. That's where I'm gonna stamp my image and sentiment from the One Cool Pineapple stamp set and put that inside there. So I'm getting to use that frame, plus I'm popping up my colorful cardstock frame on top of that. And then we're going to inlay all of the little yellow pieces for this first card into this. The watermelon card and the cactus card, very, very similar, just some different colors for the inlay. In fact, all those little green pieces to the left, or pardon me, to the right of the card I'm creating here, were used to inlay on both of the other cards. I had so many of those little pieces. Now, did I use all of these little inlay pieces? No, I did not. I did keep the frames that I die cut these from because they could totally be used for another card if I wanted to. I probably could have even saved these little pieces, but I did not. I figured the frames will get used at some point. Um, this just seemed like a lot of extra to keep around, which I'm really not a fan of. Now, I wanted to do this inlay. You could also very, very easily just put another color of cardstock trimmed to four inches by five and a quarter back behind here and not do an inlay and just have a nice contrasting color of cardstock behind. That would probably save a ton of time if you don't wanna be crazy like I was and do this inlay. I happened to, I was looking for, I wanted to frame up the images from One Cool Pineapple. This is kind of my thought process here. And in searching for what would be a good frame, I wanted to use something different. I wanted to use something maybe that I hadn't either A, used in a while, or B, maybe ever used. And I'm telling you guys right now, I have never used this grid frame. I've had it for months. And I was like, why have I not used this? And it really just kind of popped into my head. Wouldn't it be fun to do an inlay? Um, really make the frame decorative, but make it so that even though it is decorative, it totally highlights the adorable images and the sentiments that are gonna go in the center of the card. And I was looking for something that would really complement that. And that's how this whole inlay frame kind of came to be. It really does go together much faster than it appears. I mean, all these little pieces can be kind of a pain. A jewel picker like you see here on my screen that I ended up really not using probably would help keep your fingers kind of out of the mess if you wanted to, if you will, but it truly doesn't take that long. I put in a podcast or an audiobook, um, sometimes just music, and I just, kind of create a way. That's kind of my go-to for things like this. It is really enjoyable. And I think that something we all should strive for when card making is to do things that we find enjoyable. And it may not be the same for everybody. 
Um, I tend to go over the top with many of my cards. Um, they're usually fairly detailed and I have lots of stuff going on. Um, maybe that's not your thing, but whatever it is, just find the enjoyment in the process. And for me, this inlay and creating inlays just in general is a really enjoyable process. I think it's so super fun. These are white top fold card bases from Simon Says Stamp. I don't think I've mentioned this in a while, but they are fantastic, you guys. They make putting together your cards so much quicker and easier. They're already scored, whether it's the side fold or the top fold. I keep a stash of them on hand at all times so that I never have to cut and score my own cards. Now this is that inside panel from the Bristol Smooth cardstock. Because we've die cut that from Bristol Smooth cardstock, it is already perfectly sized to inlay into the center of our frame. This is something that I am also a big fan of so that I don't have to guess, that I don't have to trim it down and maybe accidentally not cut it to the right size. I stamped the image, in this case it's the pineapple, and then the, your, one, um, your one cool pineapple sentiment. I stamped this with the clear Simon Says Stamp Embossing Ink, sprinkled on some Lawn Fawn White Embossing Powder, and then heat set that. So it's white on white. We're going to do a little embossed resist. We're going to color in the image with some Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers and a water brush pen. I have done this in the past. I know this isn't anything new, um, but I haven't really done my watercoloring like this in an embossed image for a little while. It is one of my favorite techniques. I find it super relaxing. I like to lay down my dark color, blend out with my lighter color, and then blend it out even more with a water brush pen. The great thing about this is you get that watercolored look, but it's kind of a cheater watercolor. Um, same thing with the leaves here. I did not add water to the leaves, but you totally could if you wanted to. What is amazing is that embossed area holds your ink inside the embossed area, which is just, that's why I call it cheater's watercolor. For me, it's fantastic. Here is that embossed resist. I am taking and I scribbled my zigs on a clear acrylic block. I'm picking up the color with my water brush pen and painting around my image and painting over that sentiment. This is going to make the sentiment automatically pop off of the background there. You could also watercolor first if you wanted to. And once it's completely dry, you could stamp your greeting and emboss with white embossing powder, excuse me, if you wanted to, or when you're done. It just kind of depends whatever you want to do there. Um, I did it while it was all in my misty, the design and the sentiment, because it's just quicker that way for me. I did forget to color in the little marks here on the pineapple, so I went ahead and did that with a mid-brown marker. The colors I'm using are shown across the top of the screen. I'm using some acrylic blocks to hold this nice and flat. When my background's dry, I did take a dry paper towel and pick up any ink that might be sitting on top of the embossing and removed that. And then I'm simply replacing this panel inside my frame. So everything here is inlay. Just wanna get that lined up perfectly, press that down in place, and that Inlay grid frame perfectly frames up this adorable little pineapple. Now, at this point, you could really leave it if you wanted to, but I thought let's go ahead and take an additional little sentiment strip using phrases from the Simon Says Stamp You Got This stamp set, and let's use a coordinating color of cardstock, something I used from the inlay. So I've got my yellow cardstock here. I stamped a greeting on it. My greeting reads, you make life beautiful. I thought that went really well with your one cool pineapple. I stamped that with clear embossing ink, embossed with white embossing powder, and then I'm popping this up with foam adhesive strips. And it really complements the design beautifully. If I had stamped this on black cardstock, it really wouldn't have worked as well as on this yellow. And you're gonna see this two other times in the other two cards. For the watermelon, I used red cardstock. For the cactus, di cactus card, I used green. And it just complements the design. There's nothing else black on the card. And sometimes I don't mind 
a lot of color going on and then a cute little sentiment strip stamped and embossed on black cardstock, it really sets the card off. I thought it would really take away from the design of this. And so I chose to do a colorful cardstock and set instead. And you can see it's just as successful and if not more for this particular design. Now I'm taking coordinating colors and yellows and oranges of Nouveau crystal drops and just adding some fun embellishment all around my pineapple design in varying drop sizes. Nouveau crystal drops are always so amazing for being able to create just really quick, awesome little embellishments in any size. I have a little piece of scrap paper here. I do suggest maybe kind of squeezing out a little drop on your scrap paper first. Sometimes some air gets in the bottle and it can kind of explode on your project, which is not really the look we're going for. Next, we are going to stamp the remaining two designs. A lot of times if I'm doing multiple cards, I go ahead and do one from start to finish to make sure I kind of like it all. And then I will go and do the rest assembly line style, which is very much what I did here. So I've got all of my white frames and backgrounds die cut from the Bristol Smooth cardstock. I've got all of my colorful frames, all of the little insert pieces, and now I'm ready to just put them all together. And so I'm gonna stamp the watermelon and your one in a melon greeting for the watermelon card. And I'm going to stamp the cactus and the stuck on you greeting for the cactus card. You could also use the other images from this. There is a fish, there's a flamingo. I've already used those guys on another card. So I was really just kind of, or uh, another two cards really, um, there's a sunshine as well. I've used that guy too. And I was really going for using everything that I hadn't used yet. So um, this is a fantastic stamp set. It's a big six by eight stamp set. I don't think I mentioned the, that in the video or earlier in the video. And these images are whimsical and fun. So many great ways to design with these. Again, stamping everything with a clear embossing ink, heat embossing with white embossing powder, and then we're gonna be ready to color in these images and we'll put the cards together just like before. I am not gonna share any of the rest of the inlay design. It is exactly like at the beginning of the video where I showed you the inlay for the pineapple card. Just a little time consuming as far as uh, putting your frames together and inlaying all the little pieces, but exactly the same steps. I did leave in the coloring for the remaining two cards so you guys could see exactly how I put these together. Um, there's my watermelon. Um, this background I chose to do green again. I kind of like the green offsetting the red there. Same two colors, light green and yellow green. Love embossed resist. It is something I probably will never tire of. Um, I think it's always so magical having something stamped and embossed with white or, or clear on a white background and then taking some sort of medium, whether it be a distress ink, watercolors, other ink pads, whatever it is, and watching that image come to life when you lay the color over the top. Again, you wanna make sure and get rid of any color ink that might be sitting on top of the greeting because that takes away from the greeting. It's going to be much brighter white if you get rid of that extra ink. And of course the cactus card, same thing. Light green and yellow green. I kind of kept it consistent throughout. Didn't grab too many other crazy colors. The only difference here, I did go and grab some blue colors. I felt like I needed something different for the background and I love blues. I went ahead and went with blue and light blue here. A great color combination. I think it sets off the cactus background beautifully. I love that little stuck on you greeting. A little different than before, I was, I guess I was anxious to get that background down and I colored the pot afterwards. A little bit, I was not sure whether I was gonna go red or yellow. I didn't really wanna grab different colors of markers, I guess. Um, I was trying to just stick to whatever I'd already pulled out and put on my desk other than these blue colors. 
And I couldn't decide whether I wanted to use the yellow and bright yellow that I already had out or car carmine red and light carmine that I already had out. And I ended up going with bright yellow and yellow. I like the green, yellow, blue color combination. I think this would work really nice um, for a masculine style card even. Uh, maybe a little bit better than one of the others, although probably any of them could go either way. Um, but I thought this color combination in particular was a great masculine color combination. I did use a little light carmine for the inside of the pot just to set that off. Inlaid that, again, little greetings. The watermelon card has the uh, hashtag don't lose faith and the cactus card has hashtag you got this. And of course I finished them all with Nouveau Crystal Drops and that finishes up these inlay grid frame one cool pineapple cards thank you guys so much for joining me today for these cards featuring simon says stamps and dies the supplies i use to create my cards are listed and linked below the video here on youtube here are a couple more videos featuring simon says stamps and dies and other products please be sure to subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos thanks for watching and we'll see you next time